Hey guys, this is Junaid here from K21 Academy and I welcome you all back to this session on Python playlist where we are going to discuss each and everything related to Python. So in today's session, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look into condition statements. We're going to see what are condition statement, why do we need condition statement and how can you define condition statement in Python. So without any further ado, let me quickly get started. Guys, before we begin, if you want to have a look into the previous topics such as installation of Python, you know, what is virtual environment, how you install the IDs, variables and other sm smaller and basic concepts, please check out our Python playlist, the link for which will be given in the description box below. And also, if you guys are interested in looking for a Python training certification, please check out the link given the description box below. All right, so let us now get started by understanding what our condition statement in Python. Okay, so what are condition statements, right? Like, let's say you want to make a decision making here. Like, you want to find out or you want an algorithm to tell on its own whether something is right or wrong. So you obviously have to do something, right? Like, you, you obviously have to be like, um, to tell the system that, you know, this is right and this is wrong and you don't you want you want some decision making to happen there because not every time you can add in a static data and even if you add a static data there should be some decision made on it so condition statement is basically there to make a decision of a certain action to be done so it is one of the important task or important thing that you we use on a day-to-day -day, uh, programming so no matter what you do, something as simple as, you know, writing uh, your Fibonacci series or something as complicated as, you know, writing your algorithm for deep learning or machine learning, you know, you use condition statements everywhere. So a couple of condition statements that we have is if, else if, and else. So what we're going to do now is let's move to our code editor. And the code editor, as you know, that I'm going to use is Jupyter Notebook. If you don't know how to work with Jupyter Notebook, please check out our, uh, you know, tutorial on Anaconda and the link for this would be present in our uh, Python playlist. So it will be there in the description below. So what we're going to do now is we'll jump to my code editor. And as I said earlier, I'm going to use uh, Jupyter Notebook. I've already opened my Jupyter Notebook over here and we're going to see how we can work with our files okay so starting off with the first thing okay we have let's say a variable here okay as we have discussed earlier variable is anything that stores a value right so let's say five and i want another variable let's say b i'm gonna assign a value as 5.5 a floating point value okay now condition statement is something like um if a is greater than b or if a is less than b i want a certain thing to be printed out okay so if a is greater than b print a okay here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna um, teach you how to do string formatting okay so let me say i want to add in a value a is greater than b okay so if I just add this over here, so A is not greater than B because A is 5 and 5.5 is less than B, right? So if I add like 5.6 and then if I run this too, so it will say A is greater than B. So as you can see here, a decision making is happening. At the same time, if I reduce the value of A and if I print this, so you will see that you won't be able to see the value of A. Now let me do one thing. Instead of uh, writing A is greater than B, I want a value over here. So if I have to do the old fashioned method, so what I'll do is I'll have to write a comma. I have to write this individually, put this in a string somewhere like this. And then yeah, again for B, I have to do the same thing. So let me add a value, comma, and then this. So as you can see here, it is pretty, you know, it's not desirable to write it in this format, right? So let me increase the value of A. Let me make it as six, right? So as you can see, 5.6, uh, then we have two spaces here. It's it's not desirable. So I want to format the string, right? So what I'll do here is instead of writing it this way, I'm going to write it normally, okay? So let me show you how that works. So first off, let me remove this. Let me have F, okay? Now I have defined this F stands for format and any value that I want. Let me add value of A is greater than b and now if i print this you will see here i'm getting this in a proper format and now if i use this 
so it doesn't print anything so this is if statement now the other way that i can have a condition statement right so let, let me say that um let me say um else right so i don't like if this happens else something else right so else let me add a value let me copy a print statement from here and let me go down to else print instead of this what i'll do is if a is not greater than b obviously b is going to be greater than a right so let me add value of a here and b here but on this you will see here 5.5 .5 is greater than 5 so 5 is a value of a here and 5.5 .5 is a value of b so as you can see here we are kind of making a decision statement now we have another thing that i can add here is lf okay that is else if now let's say if a is equal equal to b then i want something to be printed then a is equal to b right so now uh, let's keep the value of both of them as 5.5 .5. so now you will see here that first what will happen is it will see if this if a is greater than b so is it satisfying this no then it will look into this if a is equal equal to b yes then it will print this but let's say if this was not going to happen then it will come down to else okay so now i can just write this all right so it's giving me an error so let me fix this so as you can see here it's lf 5.5 .5 is equal to 5 so this particular block of code is getting executed and we are kind of making decisions over here so what did we learn now we learn how to create a if statement then we have if else and how to use lf so with this uh you know this is a very bit about condition statement like how can you make decisions i would also say it as decision statements and this can can be something really uh you know used in different manner let's say if you're trying to use a for loop or looping statement which we're going to see in the next session uh this is something which is going to be really helpful for you to make decision there like if you want to terminate a loop after a certain condition so you cannot you know obviously be looking or you cannot manually be pressing your loop so this would be time consuming and then it requires a manual labor so this helps us in automating a couple of stuff uh when we are trying to work with loops all right guys with this we come to the end of a session i hope you enjoyed and learned something new if you have any further queries please do mention them in the comment box below so guys before i end this session there's something that i want to give you guys right so before you purchase our course we would like you to give a trial to our free class so free class is basically a concise or demo version of our paid courses i know the courses are pretty it's something like you know when you invest money or that you you might not be sure right like whether this course belongs to you or not so this is why we introduce something called as free class over here so with this free class what happens is you can register yourself and you know attend a class for two days and see if this course is for you or not so before i show you how you can register yourself for a free class let me show you how our learning path of our course would be so the course over here would be divided into eight weeks so in the first week we would be you know dealing with some of the basic concepts like you know introduction to python objects and you know some basics of it and then we straight away move down to looping statement then we have the oops concept that we deal in the next by, by third week once you come down to the fourth week, you'll be dealing with exception handling, you know, how to deal with errors and various other concepts that go there. Week five and six, you'll be dealing with, you know, generators and then how to use, you know, NumPy and Pandas, Matplotlib and Plotty. These are some of the libraries that you need when you're trying to start off with uh, data science. Finally, in week seven, you will be introduced to big data. That is, you know, how to use Apache for big data technologies. Finally, in the week eight, we'll be walking you through, you know, how to build your CV, interview preparation and all of that. I know seven weeks is like, you know, it's impossible to learn a programming language. But let me tell you something, guys, with our live course, you would be able to see this n number of times. And also, you know, whatever you have achieved in your live class, we have, you know, the recordings of that so that you can come back and watch it again and again. Apart from this, this course would be um, available for you for throughout your lifetime so that, you know, it's, it's always there in your hand. So this is a bit about a learning path of a course. So as I've promised earlier that, you know, I'm going to show you how you can register yourself for our Python for data science and data engineer. So let me do one thing. Let me quickly go to my uh, browser. So here, let me open Google Chrome. So for this, what you got to do is you got to type uh, k21academy.com slash Python 02. So 
Yep. So if I have this and if I hit enter, you will be presented with a screen something like this, wherein it says free live class. And depending upon when you're, you know, booking it, so you'll have various classes. Usually we tend to have three sessions because we know we have people uh, applying for different areas. Like we have uh, different time zones. So you can definitely, you know, register yourself here. So then make sure you come here. You can, you will see one dialog box. Apart from that, you'll also see some of the, you know, that the agenda for that class, like Python and features, Python objects and various other things. Over here, you, you'll have some demo session, a free grip for those who attend in, who are attending it, and a Q&A session with the trainer. So here you can just add up K21, like, like whatever your name is, and then you can add up like K21 at gmail.com and make sure you give your phone number, but although that is optional, but yeah. And once you hit this, you can just hit register. You will be getting an email address which would have a link of your zoom but let's say if you if you you know if you don't want that if we have this wherein once you hit register you will get a zoom link over here uh, which you can just join up with this at this particular time or whenever you want and the agenda for this would be present over here so you can join a zoom link by this join the webinar so this is what it is so we also have a youtube channel and a telegram channel which you can join over here and this would help you out with, you know, if you have any queries about questions or something, you know, one of our uh, trainers would get back to you on that. All right, guys, uh, we come to the end of this session. Uh, until next time, goodbye and take care.